Hey folks, welcome back to the village. Uh, you probably see my dog in my videos a lot, that's Madison. Um, do a lot of cooking for her. Working on some stuff today. We're gonna make uh, doggy beef stew. It's a recipe I pulled off the internet. Um, use a lot of organic vegetables, beans, carrots, sweet potatoes. Uh, the meat's gonna be beef stew chunks. I'm gonna cut them in like nickel size. Uh, pieces gonna brown those and that's gonna go in there flour and water to make like, a little gravy and we're gonna do the beef chunks and canola really good for a dog um, omega fatty acid and stuff in it really good so we're gonna brown that first we're gonna take these potatoes and we're gonna cut these up into little chunks I'm gonna put them in the steamer and steam them to get them softened up because they're pretty tough then we'll work on that meat and then we'll come back and we'll start getting things put together So I'm gonna take the sweet potatoes here. I'm just gonna cut them into little chunks and then we'll toss them into the steamer over here and steam them for about 15 minutes. Just so they're firm, not, so they don't get too mushy. They're pretty, they're pretty sturdy. They don't get mushy too easy. So I'll just cut these. Just gonna cut them in half again. Potatoes are really good for dogs, just like they are people. Uh, a lot of vitamins, uh, a lot of fiber too, which uh, calcium, uh, phosphorus, stuff that's really good. Dogs just like us need a lot of. So just cut these up real good and get them steamed up. Cut them probably a little bigger than you would for a smaller dog. Our dog's big, she can eat the big chunks, so. Not ready yet. Not ready yet. No, they're not ready yet. My assistant, that's who we're cooking for there. There. I don't think I like it like that. <laughs> don't like it like that, do you? It's kind of gross. So there we go. Just cut up like the chunks like that. Pretty simple. And again, we're going to toss them in the steamer over there. Probably steam them 12 to 15 minutes. Again, we'll soften up and not mushy. Then we'll come back and brown up our meat over in the skillet. So we've got our sweet potato chunks. Just put them in the steamer. Just a little water in the bottom. So right on here, we're going to probably set that for... I'm going to think I'm going to go with 12 minutes on the high and we'll come back and look at them make sure we got the good consistency not firmness but not you know soft so we'll just throw the lid on this bad boy go down here turn around we'll, we're gonna start with 15. we'll hit that give it about 15 minutes we'll come back check those out and see how they're doing uh, we'll go over there and brown that meat up i'll chop those pieces up and get that ready and we'll uh, get this thing going Yeah, so I've taken the stew meat chunks, just cut them up in little little cubes, basically they're not really precise or anything. 
uh, put them in the skillet. We got our canola oil in there, a couple tablespoons of canola oil. We're gonna brown those up, set them off the side. Uh, this stuff's pretty lean, but if, even if it wasn't lean, this type of fat, bad for you and me, good for a dog. So uh, yeah, so we're gonna save that because we're gonna use that to make a gravy that goes in this also. So we're gonna keep that fat, but always keep that in there. It's good for a dog. Um, yep, so let me go ahead and get started on this. We'll brown those up. We'll check our sweet potatoes in a few minutes here and make sure they're nice and soft. And uh, then we'll start putting this all together. It's got our meat here in the skillet, you know, just got right side on the medium heat. It says 10 to 15 minutes on this. Just kind of brown it, move it around, brown it on all the sides. Uh, then we'll do the other batch. And we'll set it outside and then we'll come back and we'll use that, all that fat, a little bit of fat or whatever it gets in there. We'll use that with the flour water, we'll make our gravy and everything. Uh, sweet potatoes are still going over in the steamer there. Got a few more minutes on those. We'll check those. Uh, might have to run a little longer. We'll just check and make sure. Um, and we'll start working on putting everything together here in a few minutes. So, get back here in a sec. Okay, we got our uh, meat all browned up in here. We're going to scale. We left our juice and everything from the meat here. We're going to take that, mix in our flour and our water, and make our gravy. Over here, we got our Sweet potatoes, all steamed up, ready to go. I cooked them extra a couple minutes, so I did them probably about 18, 19 minutes. They're good. Uh, so we'll get this going, we'll make this gravy, and we'll start putting everything together. Okay, so I got my carrots in here now, my beans, and some of my sweet potatoes. First time I've ever made this, but I think what I'm gonna do the next time is, I like I did my squash, or sweet potato in the steamer, I think what I would steam the carrots and then add them back with everything. I think it just would work better. It just takes a while to get the carrots soft. So, but I'll put them back when we combine everything and I'll cook a little more and that way I can soften them up. I think in the future that's what I'm gonna do, but that's what she looks like. Just give an idea what, what we got going on there. So we're gonna give that a little longer to cook. And then we'll combine everything together and we'll see how she looks. So, give us another five minutes or so, and we'll start. Okay, you can see we got everything combined back together. Just gonna let this cook a little bit. Carrots are getting pretty close, let them soften. But I said, like, next time I'm gonna go ahead and steam those like I did the uh, sweet potatoes. Put those in there, and I think that'll work a little better. It'll put a little extra water in there so we can get those cooked down a little bit, and that'll tighten everything up a little bit. So, uh, yeah, came out, and then later on we'll test drive it on the dog. I'm sure it's going to get wolfed down. Uh, at the end here, I'll I'll post my recipe on there with everything, so you can take a look at that. Something you might want to make for yourself. Uh, if you like the video, like it below. If you have any comments or ideas, leave me a comment down below. If you want to follow me in more recipes, we'll make a dog meatloaf coming up next. Um, hit the subscribe button, and we'll be cooking various things and doing different things. So uh, thanks for watching and have a good day.